Everyone from welding amateurs to full-on professionals needs to be aware of the heat, light, and sparks that the welding process generates. Many types of welding also generate gases that we would have to ventilate from the working area. In this story, we're going to look at the basic things that you can do to keep yourself, your shop, and unsuspecting people outside of your shop safe. Modern helmets with the auto darkening technology helps protect the welder from accidental flashes and lets you be more accurate during your welding jobs. This is an older style single state lens that stays dark all the time. And that means you can't see anything until the arc is established. Trying to start the weld in the right place and flip your helmet down all at the same time is a good way to flash yourself. With the auto darkening technology you can see what's going on before you strike the arc. That lets you start the weld where you really want to and prevents flashing yourself. As the arc begins, the helmet lens automatically goes to the dark state and does it so quickly that you don't see the flash. And when the arc stops, the helmet switches back to where you can see again. This new lens technology makes learning to weld a bunch easier than it used to be. Better helmets like this Hobart hood have controls that let you dial in the helmet the way you want it. You can adjust the sensitivity of the auto darkening technology, how dark it gets, and how quickly it reverts back to the light state when the arc stops. Tinted welding curtains prevent people on the outside of your shop from getting flashed accidentally. In addition to common courtesy, flashing somebody on the street could have legal consequences. These curtains let a lot of light pass through into the shop. But when viewed from the outside, that same tinting reduces the arc glare to safe levels. A good leather apron can help protect you even when you're standing up when you're doing your welding. Those sparks can find their way into pockets or into your shirt. But if you do any amount of welding while sitting down, that leather apron gets way more important. Between being so close to where the welding is being done and your lap making such a nice place to catch all those hot sparks, this can get exciting real fast. I tried toughing it out without an apron, but this is what happens to your pants when you do that. And, as you might suspect, that wasn't any fun. Welding blankets let you cover up or shield an area where you don't want welding sparks to go. They can be effective if you just drape them over a machine like I'm doing here, or if you hang them like a curtain. Most welding blankets come with hems sewn with fire-resistant thread and grommets that make them easier to hang. And, of course, you're going to need a good pair of leather gloves that are designed for welding. These gloves from Lincoln Electric are sewn with Kevlar thread. The palm is reinforced with leather and they have a nice size cuff that overlaps your shirt sleeves. And they have a lining that's both breathable and comfortable. These gloves offer good protection, yet they're easy to work with. You can manipulate your gun and pieces easily. No matter what kind of welding you do, you need to take precautions to protect yourself and unsuspecting people outside of your work area. This equipment doesn't cost all that much, but it can save you a lot of time and money down the road.